Hi Neil, lovely to meet up with you and do some further work on your swing. Uh, look forward to watching this one progress throughout the season. Um, initially at the start of your session, two centres have got a little bit misaligned. The hips were back. The side bend was at P1 at least, slightly towards the target. This is positioning the ball well back of the swing centre. So we're sort of really establishing quite a steep uh, angle of attack with that sort of setup. The changes that we made were uh, pushing the hips or the pelvis towards the target just a couple of inches, which then gives you some little separation between the two centres. Not a lot, uh, it doesn't need to be a lot on top of one another or slightly to the right, i.e. slightly away from target, maybe a couple of degrees is fine with a, with a short iron. So little bit of separation between the two centres. The ball now is not quite as far back at the swing centre or the arc centre as it was, which is producing a little bit less steepness. Uh, the problem we had with the setup that we take on the left hand side is that because of the steepness at setup, uh, the downswing tends to be sort of quite heavily biased, particularly impact. Uh, the move we make from P6 to P7 is quite biased towards shallowing things out. So what we do is we flex a lead wrist. We allow the club to overtake the hands, which shallows out the descent a little bit, but unfortunately causes the low point to be a little bit untidy and gives you that look through impact where you can't get a lot of shaft lean. What we're able to do here now is with a slightly... Um, shallower setup if you will uh, we're able to keep everything going forward through the hip and reduce the rate at which the club overtakes the hands we can have a little bit of shaft lean now at impact and still have enough dynamic loft on the ball, on the club to get the job done so it's a tidying up process um, the shift across with a lower centre doesn't need to be as excessive either because it's already in position. Um, so here on the left, there's a little bit of a um, little bit of contradiction going on. We've got a steep setup, we're trying to shallow it through the hit. What we've got on the right is a much more balanced move, where everything's sort of you know a little bit steeper. Which we're hitting a nine iron at the end of the day here, so it's not going to be a massively shallow angle of attack, but not quite as steep at setup. And then we're able to keep the alignments a little bit better through impact. In regards to your short game. Uh, we talked about the setups and, you know, we want an appropriate setup for the type of shot that we're making. Um, but what we also need to consider is the length of arc. So what you're doing here is you're demonstrating uh, three distinct arc lengths. You've got a long arc, which is good for bringing the club out of the ground, allowing you to hit out at the ball a little bit more, just a fraction, which is ideal for low running shots up the green. We've then got the next extreme, which is a really short arc, which is great for using the bounce, keeping the loft, or even sometimes adding loft to the golf club, shifting the plane to the left, which is ideal for playing lob shots, um, bunker shots, etc. So more delicate shots around the green. That extra overtaking through the hit also adds a little bit of speed, which is often needed when you're in the rough. And then the final move you demonstrate is the medium length arc, which is your standard length shot, or standard type of shot, where you're either trying to play a really delicate lob shot or run the ball up the green particularly. So what we talked about was that the length of arc should be appropriate to the type of shot you're trying to play. If you're trying to play a chip and run with a severely short arc, that's going to cause you problems. As I demonstrated during your visit, if you're trying to play a, a lob shot or a bunker shot with a severely long arc, that's also going to cause you problems. So, um, you know, just food for thought, things to consider when you're hitting shots around the green. Uh, you've got two extremes, very long arc, very short arc, and any number of variables in between that are going to get the job done. But remember, the type of swing you, or the type of through swing you make needs to be appropriate to the type of shot you're trying to play. Good luck with it. I look forward to meeting up with you again in a few weeks' time. Well done.